Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Carsten Schick. I'm the general manager and island chief of the, uh, the Conrad Maldives uh, Rangali Island. Thanks for joining us today, Carsten. Uh, it's been quite a busy year for you because you had a, a rebrand uh, in December last year, didn't you? How did that go? Yeah, it's indeed uh, been a very, very busy year. And uh, we uh, last year, at the same time, I was uh, giving an interview and I was asked, uh, OK, what are the news uh, at the, the Hilton Maldives? And I said, well, big news because uh, we're going to be rebranding from a Hilton into a Conrad. And uh, now we're almost uh, a year down the track. Uh, I must really say it's gone, gone really, really well. Uh, the, the Conrad brand, uh, which is uh, one of uh, the two, uh, the two, two Hilton's uh, luxury brands, uh, the other one being uh, Waldorf uh, Astoria at, 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 this, at this time. Um, we, are, uh, we, have, uh, we have changed uh, many, many things within the resort and uh, uh, we are pleased that the, the brand uh, itself has been really accepted and in our uh, key source markets, whether it's uh, United Kingdom, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Germany, uh, Japan and, and some other countries. As well as the rebrand, you've also opened up and refurbished some luxury suites as well, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, over the last uh, 12, uh, 16 months, uh, we have uh, refurbished uh, um, half of, uh, of our uh, water villa uh, island, uh, which, uh, which makes around about 20% uh, of our inventory. And, uh, and we are currently uh, uh, refurbishing uh, our two presidential suites, uh, basically as we speak. Uh, and uh, both, both will be uh, ready uh, by uh, the end of the year, just uh, before we are entering the Christmas and uh, and New Year season, and uh, these, these two villas uh, will be uh, the main features of those, those villas uh, will be uh, uh, two fantastic 45 square meter uh, pools uh, built into the, uh, in the in, into the Indian Ocean, and uh, we believe that will be a, a wonderful uh, highlight. Wonderful. You also. Um one of the only or the only destination spa in the Maldives as well. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we have uh, come up with the concept uh, about three years ago, uh, creating the first uh, true destination spa in the Maldives. So ba basically a resort within the resort, which comprises comprise of, out of uh, 21 uh, guest villas, a huge spa, uh, also a dedicated spa restaurant and, and, and its, its own reception. So a true uh, a destination spa. And uh, within the last uh, three years, uh, so basically mainly uh, this year, we have uh, reinvented the Bar by uh, changing uh, our concepts uh, um, to, to make them even more, more holistic um, um, and uh, we changed our product lines from, uh, from, from Thalgo into Thalgo's luxury uh, line which is called the Terra Key. We have also added um, um, an, an additional uh, product line which is called Eminence and this is uh, based out of, out of Hungar Hungary, uh, or an organic uh, um, um, spa uh, uh, products uh, and, uh, and, uh, and added a few other uh, uh, very unique uh, uh, holistic uh, treatments uh, to it so so again to create uh, uh, some differences uh, between uh, uh, what we used to be as a Hilton to, to what we are now as a, as a Conrad. Now on a macroeconomic level um, financial crisis going on at the moment hopefully coming out of the, an aviation crisis how are things in the Maldives? Well, uh, it's uh, so far uh, so good, but it's, it's early days. I mean, the, the crisis started to, to hit us uh, I mean, a couple of months ago, and uh, we have already seen uh, some decline uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, bookings. But uh, Maldives now entering the traditional high and peak season, uh, December till, uh, till April. So we have, uh, quite, we're quite optimistic with the, uh, the forward bookings uh, we have uh, versus uh, the cancellations we get. Um, but I mean, it's early days, and uh, we, uh, we are obviously very, very cautious in, in our activities, uh, and uh, we believe it, uh, the, the crisis will have an, an impact uh, on, on our business also in the Maldives, uh, uh, but it is not as, as, as evident uh, uh, as yet as, as uh, we, we can feel in, in some other markets around, around the world. But, uh, uh, but we have to monitor it very, very closely, and obviously trying to stay ahead of the game um, and to ensure that, uh, that the destination, I mean, the destination itself is, uh, is still wonderful and still has an edge over many many others and especially in the in the luxury uh, uh, segment I mean the people still still travel um, and, uh, and and we hope they may shorten their trips uh, uh, you know by by a few days uh, or going instead of three times going two times a year but uh, but we believe uh, we still uh, we are operating in a niche uh, uh, which is uh, in the long term sustainable well, Maldives is very much one of those once-in-a-lifetime destinations that, although there's blips in, in demand for the, with the economy, it will always bounce back. Yeah, uh, we have seen this in, uh, in previous crises, uh, whether it was a SARS uh, in Asia or it was uh, even a tsunami, which uh, was such a terrible uh, tragedy. But uh, it's, uh, it's particularly the Maldives uh, have uh, bounced back very, very quickly uh, within uh, three, three, four months. Uh, we often seen this with the, with the Gulf War, where many, many other uh, destinations have really suffered. So, and, and if, if, if that's a benchmark, then, uh, and then it looks, uh, looks pretty good for us.
Okay, Carson, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me.